Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is a, a, an alive nail. It's not dead, but it's been permanently damaged. The nail's very loose. I'm just gonna remove whatever's lifted. Shouldn't really bother you too much. I'm gonna trim as short as we can, okay? Well, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy here because uh, it's not a, a, a routine case per se. Once we get it down, the maintenance will be much easier. So I'm just gonna give you like a quiet brief about about these case. He used to also like his dogs because he's a vascular doctor. Uh, used to uh, let him go to a hyperbaric uh, unit. Yep. Yeah, to help this case out. But it didn't help. And then I know he used to go like for for every day four months. Months. Four, four months every day. Every day. Yeah, every every day. single day. It's a lot. It's a lot. Did That's you even fit it? You're, you're not the small guy. No, no. no. Was it tight in they there? Gave me, they gave me one of the big ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, when I visited him, I felt like yeah, I'm watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it was reality. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is a, a, an alive nail. It's not dead but it's been permanently damaged. So you know when we have callus, yeah. too much pressure? When we have too much pressure on the nail, we get a thick toenail. Okay. That's simple. Mm -hmm. Nails always gonna grow like this, but because of burgers, because of the problems with the healing, we're gonna avoid removing this permanently for now. Mm -hmm. We see how well it is after we've trimmed it down, buffed it down, and I'm telling you, as long as you are on top of seeing it, it will never get like this again. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the most important part. So you gotta maintain it. So we're gonna go nice and slow. Because I know it is very sore. It's, um, ha how have you been doing during winter time? Well, oh my this is, God. This is, a, this is also something I really wanna share with you. They, they've been telling me you're not, you're not supposed to it's, live in Canada. It's, <laughs> yeah, they've been telling you like, you gotta like because reside off from, from the cold areas. Yes. Because you know, like the cold is one one of the main reasons that that blood, you know, this to um, pro progress. The cold and doesn't help the the blood vessels, not right? At all, oh, not at all, man. But like, I I I I'm honestly not. He, he he literally did not leave the house. Mm. Literally, yeah, did not leave the for house for, like, past for a period of time. Got him in a depression. You can see, like it's it's been you know like affecting of of uh, him you know caring for himself even more. But uh, I can see your big guns are I'm so you know like I'm so in love with this big gun. <laughs> see, you gotta need those ones. Is it sore? No, so, no, is it fine. sore? So the big thing, obviously, it moves a lot. So I'm trying to hold it as still as we can as I trim it little by little down. See, the big gun stuff. It's easier. This is the big guns. It's going down. Yeah, it's. Uh, are you being? But it's still alive, right? The yeah. nail's still alive. Yeah. That means there's a chance of, of getting healed. Well, hopefully not. It's a lot, you know. It's gonna grow thick again, but. But again, a, a nail like this does not grow at the same speed as a normal toenail. Yeah. So that's why when we trim it down to the, to the bare nub, to the very back, it will take a very long time to grow. And as long as you know you're on top of it now and you know where to go, it should never get like this again. Well, there's a term for this. They call it an onychogryphotic nail. Sometimes they call it like a ram's horn. Uh -huh. Onico? Onico, onico gryphotic. But they call it a ram's horn. So you know how those rams, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that, yeah. because the nail gets really thick and sometimes starts to curl. Yours went straight. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a progressive case on the TV. On TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, his, his nails were like, you know, like it's exactly, it's, yeah. exactly forming like like the thing that the, the what was the name of the show? Uh, Doctor Nine Zero One Two. <laughs> was it on YouTube or was it on TV? TV. No TV. Okay. So you doing okay? Yeah. At least now we know where to go. You see it now. It's going. It's getting down there. 
you because uh, honestly speaking, even his his activities, you know, got you know very limited because of that. Walking becomes you know a little bit annoying. It's not a little bit; it's annoying for him. <laughs> and I, I understand, you know, like uh, even my wounds in my hands, man, is this, is this one is this one. The nature of this disease. Oh. Is, is, I know. I can see that one. They, they, they you were telling me today, like this nail on this one, it's so sore, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you were telling me that. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. So you can see, we're already down to the bottom. I'm so excited to see that. The difference is, I'm going to trim as much as I can, and then I have a special file to shave it down even thinner, so it's completely flat. And, sir, none of the wounds will, like, you're not going to touch anything of the, of the alive. No. Wounds are, like, it's not going to get, the, like, the No, no, we're out. not trying to aggravate the wound. You're going to, like, dry it out. And yep. So, the, when we get to the other toe, yeah. my game plan would be just to remove the dead, damaged toenail, yeah. like we did with this, and now the medicine can get in, it can dry out properly. This is like a like a, um, a tent on yeah, top, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's keeping all the moisture inside, and we need to expose it. Exactly. Yeah. I'll just remove the, the, the bandages from this It's always covered. Always covered, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. But we should have a very light bandage on it. Nothing to uh, moist or that, to damp. Something that's airy that allows air to get in. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to see the big guns that the doctor has. No, because like, all the tools is about a huge, in a huge scale. <laughs> so you can hear already. Well, your big guy can have a little nail in the brain, and for a big guy, you got to have a big one. Yeah, yeah. He is already. And he's already cutting them. Yeah. And they're going to they're, they're trim them down. And uh, have special. It doesn't make sense. If you have a big guy and a little tool, it doesn't mean you need a big tool for a big guy. Of course. <laughs> and I, I, you know, I've been a bit fighting with this. Uh, I've been an overweight for, for a long time of my life. I, I, I gained 285 kilos. Kilos? Kilos. So you're doing, that's a lot down. Yeah. Congratulations. And, but I, I did a sleeve, so that, you know. Yep, the, yep, the yep. I, I lost 100 kilo. Wow. And I, last year, because I've been staying at home, I gained 40 kilos. But the thing is, you're not a small, you're a tall guy. Yeah. Right? So, you see this now? We're going to buff this down, and it's going to be smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay? No wound or nothing that I see. Let's go to the other foot. All attached, yeah. So, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a picture of and send you So, we'll kill the normal nails first, and leave that one for last, okay? Okay. Let me get this one a little bit up. So yes. these ones have been cut not too long ago, or they haven't really grown much since then. Yeah, actually, uh, it's been age, ages for, for my nails to, to grow. And the reason, poor circulation, means the nails aren't getting the right nutrition, mm -hmm. and that's why they grow thick, crumbly, slow. And that also means why healing takes so long. Of course. And that's why I am very, um, concern about us doing a permanent removal. We, I do a lot of ingrown toenail removals or damaged toenail removal forever, permanent removal. But I told you, even normal healthy people with normal healing, some of them could have a very strong reaction to the acid. Yeah. And in your case, I guarantee you, it's not gonna be fun. And we just need to get this to heal up first on its own. And then we see how everything is after. This toe a little sensitive? Yeah. Okay, if anything's too much, you let me know. So 
So I don't see an ingrown, ingrown toenail on this one. Again, the wounds just happen because of the, unfortunately, the little blood vessels that become damaged underneath. So whenever you do see liquid or a wound, the iodine, liquid, liquid, put the brown stuff on there. Yeah, they've been telling me, live with this thing for, for, for age. I've been using it on my hands, on my feet, on, <laughs> on everything. You okay here? Yeah. Does this hurt or not really? Yes. A little bit, huh? Yeah. Okay, this one. Nail's very loose. I'm just gonna remove whatever's lifted. Shouldn't really bother you too much. I'm gonna trim as short as we can, okay? Little by little. I think you banged it. Or maybe just the pressure from walking that caused it to come off. And unfortunately, it's not coming off on its own, is it? No. Honestly speaking, <laughs> it came off yesterday. Okay. <laughs> We were sitting on the table. And he was this happened just yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And he was sitting next to me like that side. And I was like, I was getting that, that way. I was sitting that way exactly, sir. And I just, I just, just didn't let my legs go onto the table. Hit him by mistake. And I see the nails all is off. Yeah, it got busted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can still laugh at him. That's like, you didn't kill him. You didn't kill him. Yeah. He's like, no, he's like, this is like a, a two-in-one deal. <laughs> so was it this pussy yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Or I mean, before you banged it or no? No, it was loose since before, but okay. since the hit made it loose. It made it lo 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 loose. Yeah, loose. Yeah, but it was loose from before. And it was thin as well from before. Sorry, you okay? Yeah. You're, you're really tough. Oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah. So much the pressure, man. Yeah, the pressure, Did you feel the pressure come off right now? Yeah, yeah. It felt better? Of course. <laughs> oh my god, that much pressure, huh? We're gonna go a little bit more, as much as I can. Now, the new nail is going to grow. Yeah. And what will happen, the new nail will grow attached, but this this has to heal first. So the nail was gonna take a long time to grow. A normal person takes around six months to one year. You might take the full year or longer, mm -hmm. okay? But we're just gonna use a lot of iodine to and, dry and, it out. And from the way it looks, uh, you're sure that when it's gonna grow back, it's not gonna grow right, right? It, it probably won't grow it right. Probably, it probably won't grow right the first time, but always won't, it might always grow funky, but the difference is we can keep it managed here and filing it or trimming it short where it's never going to get to a point where it's bothering you again okay it's, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's getting you in pain because you want to just pain off right sorry sorry I'm so pleased that you came here you okay so it looks like you had a very bad ingrown or curved nail was it very curved in the skin before yeah, or? yeah. You can see how deep the groove is over here. There's no more nail in that area. Yes. Now it's exposed. Now we can dry it out. Now the medicine can work. Okay. The nails, I'm gonna cut a little bit shorter, but that's about it, okay? No more toenail, no more problem for now. Okay. And now we just have to maintain it. I'm gonna do a little bit more. See, what's the point of doing a surgery? We just did it right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like many surgeries, sir. Yeah. And I guess, you know, like, Ooh. it's freezing from the wounds, it's, it's, it's uh, it developed. Yep. It just, it took the same shape as the other toe. Yes. As you see, like, it's, it's, it's curving, you know, outside. Yep. Yeah. Which is the, 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 the yeah. deforming that, that's happening in exactly. my, in my yeah. body. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna tilt you a little just. bit back. Don't worry, I'm gonna scrape the dead skin first. Perfect. On the back, on the bottom, and then I'm gonna buff all the nails down after. Okay. All you gotta do, yeah, call me Jonathan. That's it. So what we're gonna do is buff down all the nails, smooth everything out, and then I'll do the cracked heels at the end just to smooth them out a little bit more. I've seen that that TV show they move with small laser stuff. I don't know. 
What I'm using is a, a metal burr oh. with a little bit of water, so there's no heat. Oh. Nothing should hurt. So just a little bit of cool water. If the water is too sensitive, you let me know, okay? The reason I use it is so there's no heat. Okay. So this is what's most important for you, is us filing it down super thin. Just like a base, you know, I've, 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 I've been having some hard time wearing shoes. For sure. Yeah. There's no way you could be wearing shoes or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to see a pressure on you. You know, you can, your knee is already turning, you know. Yeah. That's why I've been open with this. Yeah. And guess what? I told you, buddy, you're going you to even buy a winter one for that. <laughs> you don't have any gun out in winter. Yeah, man, I can't. Because, yeah, I know you're going to turn it. But, uh, you know, the problem is, I think we're getting the kit in, in cold weather in winter, it, it becomes very loose. Uh, my, my piece and my mental, he has, uh, this is, I've been noticed like many times, the time that he wakes up, like whenever he wakes up, I see his, his old fingers. Look at this one now. Oh, it looks like, it looks like a new man. I'm gonna take a picture. So of that. this <laughs> still has a little bit of a wound underneath, very small. We gotta keep going with the brown liquid on that one as well. Okay. Okay. Now it looks like a nail. Yep. It is. <laughs> it is. It's a good drill. You don't know how much this tool is amazing. It's like taking them so fast <laughs> and it's cleaning in the area with water after. Okay, so let me do the heel to raise this foot up, and that's it. So we can see much better now that underneath, there's no nail in the skin. It was just a thick nail on top. We trimmed it as short as we can. We buffed it as foul, as short, as thin as we can, flat as we can. The best is gonna be. We just have to make an appointment. Let's start first with six weeks. Okay. Come back in six weeks, see how the big toe's doing. You're just using the brown liquid two times a day if you can always keeping it covered with a light dressing doesn't have to be too you know too okay. tight so moisture doesn't build up too much this toenail is not going to bother you for a long time that one should start to calm down i know that other toe is very sore for you since there was you know lifted nail that should calm down okay come back in six weeks and see how we do it now we just maintain these feet Definitely. looks good lovely man looks better honestly yeah. speaking five star Hey, you guys are from UAE, there's like, what, 11 star down there. You guys, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> I should be getting 11 star. Yeah, those people got, got you know,